both GMC Yukons, different trims, SLT and Denali. And we're gonna be talking about the exteriors, interiors and specs in this video, but check out the interiors, totally different. And this is what we're gonna bring to you guys in this video. Now let's go ahead and talk about the sweet rides. Now we're gonna be talking about the exteriors, interiors and specs on both these cars and the differences. But before we do, if you guys do like our content, please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel because we really appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds. If you got some for us to film, here's our email below. Email us so we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Reliable GMC Cadillac and Buick here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us both of these cars for this review. Now, stay tuned. We're going to be dropping the MSRP stickers to both of these cars and the price tag so you guys get an idea of exactly what comes on the cars and the price tags. A lot of people be giving me comments about the price tags. Let me know what you guys think. Guys, let's go ahead and shoot over and talk about GMC. So let's talk engines. Now, the difference between both, the Denali comes with the 6.2 liter Ecotec V8 compared to the 5.3 liter Ecotec V8. Both have 10 speed automatic transmissions, but on the 6.2 liter V8, the horsepower that it puts forth is 420 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque. MPG on the 6.2 liter is 14 city, 18 highway, and a 16 combined. You get about 8,000 pounds of towing capacity. Transfer case, two-speed, mechanical limited slip differential, and magnetic ride control. Coming over to the SLT 5.3 Ecotec V8, comes with 355 horsepower, 383 foot-pounds of torque, MPG on the 5.3 is 15 city, 19 highway, and a 16 combined. You get the premium smooth ride suspension with the mechanical limited slip, about 8,000 pounds also of towing capacity. Guys, so overall, you're right about there, but depending on which motor you guys like, 5.3, 6.2, and the reliability and the history on these motors, you guys will know if you guys do the research and all that good stuff. But overall, let's go ahead and start talking about the front ends. Front ends are pretty much the same exact look, just some minor differences from Denali over to the SLT, both GMC Yukons. The Denali itself, you're gonna see a big major difference in this grill area, giving it more of a premium rich feel on the grill and that kind of metallic or hyper silver look. LED lighting with the same type uh, shape of the hazard lights blinking, we left those on. Fog lights down here in LED also, but Overall, this is all the same from the lower part grill to the fog light area and the headlights. Bumper sensors going across both of them. The another difference you will be getting is the camera on the Denali. The SLT does not come with the 360 camera uh, um, tech, okay? So let's go over to the SLT. SLT again, the grill is different, no camera, but overall the same in the lower part grill fog lights in the LED, bumper sensors, and the headlights, same exact look. Coming over to the side themselves, same look on the fenders, no wheel well trim, same color as the car. One reason I point that out is because a lot of manufacturers will drop wheel well trims, but this gives it more kind of a richer, simple, minimalist look. Integrated parking markers into the bumper covers. If we drop down to the suspensions, remember I told you that this was the magnetic ride control uh, susp suspension with the air ride to where over to this is just a premium smooth ride suspension. The rims 20 inches and these are running 22 inches. Different look with different color black gloss with kind of a hyper silver look. The tires that they're running are the Continentals uh, cross contacts and these are the Bridgestone, if you guys can see that, Alenzas, okay? Now, GMC stamped on the side, side mirrors, do pretty much look the same, same color as a car. Integrated lighting on the Denali side mirror to where no integration lighting on the SLT. Also no camera. You don't get the camera on the SLT, but you get the camera and the surround sound, I mean the surround sensing system um, on the side mirror of the Denali. Denali stamped here on the driver's side door. Yukon but no SLT, just Yukon. This actually stipulates that it's a Denali. Lower, both chrome trims. One has a just standalone uh, running board to where this has an electric running board. So if I pull the door, 
it pulls that running board out. And if I close it, it tucks it back in. And reason being, giving it, again, that simple minimalist and cleaning up the look so not so busy, which is more of a higher class rich feel. Chrome around both windows with the black gloss in between the windows. Roof racks, both in the hyper silver look. Keyless fob entries on both. Let's go ahead and head over to the rear of the cars. Now the rear of the car is pretty much the same exact thing, but the only main differences you're going to get are the dual tip exhaust on each side of the Denali, making it a quad exhaust to where you don't have that on the SLT. And then again, camera systems, the same bumper sensors, the same on the rear end. Now, if we go ahead and open up the tailgate, well, sorry, I was reaching here. You get hands-free tailgate. You can open up this with no hands-free if you kick that GMC uh, sensor, see the lighting on the ground. If you go ahead and kick that, the sensor will uh, read you and open up the tailgate. Let me go ahead and pop this glass. You get the option in the glass too on both. Let's go ahead and now pop up these tailgates. Now, as we open, tailgates are open. You can control on the Denali itself you can control by this electric control unit pad right here. You can control both um, seats. You can control, I mean, sorry, both rows, meaning the third row and the second row by electric buttons. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. Tell you to tuck forward and look at all that room. Same level, so if you do find yourself using this for camping, you want to throw an air mattress back there, camping gear, skiing gear, whatever, grocery getter, you got a whole lot of room, car seats, strollers, very convenient on the room area. And you could also pick the third row seats up by a button. All right. Inverter right here, right next to that electric control. Pop this up and let me go ahead and show you guys the personal space. Aluminum dorsal plates and some hooks and straps if you want to uh, strap some things down using bungee cords and all that. Let's go ahead and show you guys over to the SLT. SLT does not have the aluminum uh, dorsal plates, but does have the hooks and all that. But you don't have that electric control unit to control those third row seats. All right, let's go ahead and show you guys under. Same idea for under. But you have to control these manually, which is more of a longer reach for you, all right? So take that into consideration. We're going to be propping those up. You can reach over. and prop that seat up. But of course, guys, it is going to be a longer reach because it is an XL model, all right? So longer base, if it was a shorter model, you wouldn't have such a longer reach. Remember that, but you get the extra space. Now let's go ahead and shut this. Both come with a hands-free. Want you guys to know that. Both come with that glass pop-up um, uh, window. So. Now that we're done talking about the specs and the exterior, let's go ahead and talk interior. Now inside the 2023 Yukon Denali XL, and right off the bat, main difference is starting off with the door panel, you don't have that button on the SLT to do the uh, dual foldable side mirrors. All right, you can fold your side mirrors on that one, but just not at the same time. Now the door sill kick plate is different. This one says Denali, and that one doesn't have the, of course, Denali aluminum plate. On the left-hand side of the electrical steering column, this is electrical steering column. That one is manual, the SLT. You have your control units for, for example, the four-wheel drive and all that. You don't have the 360 camera button and the hill decline assist on the SLT, but you have it on the Denali. You don't have also the little control unit for your heads up display. And that leads us to the difference is also here, the heads up display and the SLT just has a crash warning sensor. On the steering wheel right in front of us, you don't get heated steering on the SLT. And overall, the whole different look on the Denali with regards to the dashboard and the center cancel area because screens are placed different so this is the Denali compared over to the SLT. Now, bringing you this car, we just wanted to talk about the interior a little bit, control unit to your windows and your side mirrors as seen with some pocket room and um, 
cup holders on your door panels with that natural ingrained inlays inside the Denali door panel. On the left hand side, as showed, you have your all wheel drive control units with your parking sensors, lane assist and all that good stuff. Heads up display, steering wheel does come in the le leather wrapped with that kind of textured design feel on that steering wheel, making it kind of a quad, quad supported steering wheel on the, um, I guess, what would you call these? I forget the word, I'm having a brain fart. But uh, control unit for your um, windshield wipers and your full digital cluster with GMC sign stamped on the right. On the right hand side of that cluster, your toggle switch for going in and out of different um, transmission gears. Start and stop button, 10.2 inch infotainment screen, very responsive, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Google Maps Assist. Dropping under that, you can control that touch sensitive screen with manual controls also. That's also a cool option to have. You can go back and forth and things like that. Start using these knobs. You have your dual climate control unit here right under that and heated ventilated seats on both cars. So both cars, the SLT and Denali come both. You can control your rear climate from up here also if you go ahead and press that button and control your rear climate, not just from the front, but also from the back. Natural wood look, go ahead and slide that. USB-C, USB-A plugins with the wireless charging pad, 12 volt plug-in and your cup holders. If we go ahead and pop this lid open, USB-C, USB-A plug-in so nobody is fighting for plugs. Removable tray and a huge cubby room for personal belongings like a massive purse if you'd want that. The seats come in that very nice perforated leather feel with the stitching Denali embroidered on the top of that backrest and they both are electric controlled. 14 speaker Bose premium sound in both cars. All right, so the Denali has the Bose 14 speaker premium sound along with the SLT. If we go ahead and move up, you have the panoramic glass and both come with it. But difference between the Denali and SLT is you can control that third row seating by the two buttons here. Let's go ahead and do that and show you. And it's very convenient because if you have, you know, the kids or somebody putting in things and you don't want to drop those seats or get out and drop those seats, you can prop those seats up from these two buttons here, which gives it a very awesome option to have. Tilt, slide, uh, sunroof option. You have that option and both can control it from passenger driver and is very reachable. Side mirror, I mean, rear view mirror, pretty much just straight to the point. Now, we are done with the front side of the Denali. Let's go ahead and talk second and third row seating. So second row seating, you have the option in the GMC Yukon Denali's of getting the captain seating or the bench seat. So right now, both are bench, Denali and the SLT, but just wanted to uh, let you guys know that you have that option. You do control these seats by the two levers on the right and left hand side of these benches. And of course, if you go ahead and twice lift that lever, you got so much room to get over to that third row seating. Drop this seat, then we go ahead and lift that other lever, pick it up, and you can control by lifting up the front lever, how far back and how far forward you'd want to go. Close the door. Now, I'm about six feet two inches. Head clearance is there, just slightly clearing it. But you can drop the angle to the back of the seat, giving it a check mark for the long road trips for that lower back. Us tall people know what we're talking about, but you have that option. Now, in front of you, pockets on both seats. In between both front seats, you have the climate controls for the back climate. Now the Denali comes with the second row heated seats to where the SLT does not have the second row heated seats. Both have USB-C plugins with the inverters, okay? Both of them have that. Now, on the door panels, speakers pretty much look the same. I want you guys to pay attention that uh, GMC did not uh, simplify the look coming in from the front over to the back. They keep that same kind of rich, uh, high class feel from the front over to the back. And up above you, you got the true light LED lighting with your vents. Let's go ahead and hop in the back. 
and lift that seat. Now, if I go ahead and drop this seat and lift it, now depending how far back it is, oh, uh, I want to kind of give you guys an idea of how it looks. Now, depending on how far back it is, of course, you're going to range on the clearance, but you're going to be putting, of course, your smaller people. It's a little bit more tight from the second row to the third row, but pretty much, even if you were to drop that seat back, you would have some leg clearance back here. Your feet aren't squished, all right? So you'd be pretty comfortable on the third row seats. On the right and the left, you got your cup holders, personal pocket space, USB-C plugins, and a button here to bunny hop that seat forward for the people on the third row seat. You literally bunny hop that seat forward and the people in the back third row can get out. Up above you, true LED lighting with your vents right above your heads. Now, we are going to go ahead and shoot over and show you guys a comparison from the Denali over to the SLT, get you guys an exact idea of what it looks like. Let's go. All right, so now sitting into the 2023 Denali Yukon SLT, and of course, right off the bat, different look on the dashboard, right? The screens are placed differently. You have this little personal pocket room space here, and then the different look and setup of your control unit. The idea is still there, but just a slight different look with regards to your temperature controls and your controls to that screen up top. Now this is touch sensitive, still in demo mode, but same exact idea with the Google Maps. You got the same software in it, okay? So, but you don't have the 360 cameras that you get, the hill decline assist on the left-hand side, manual steering column, the button here, that you have on the Denali um, cannot fold both of those mirrors at the same time. No heated steering. The heads up display is different, different look in that, okay? And no wireless charging pad. The SLT does not come with a wireless phone charging pad, all right? USB C, USB A plugins are still the same with the 12 volt outlet. Same here also. Movable tray. Seats are different, of course. The Denali has more of kind of a, a prime leather feel in it. Um, up top, you don't have the two buttons to control that third row seating, of course, because they are manual controls on that third row seating, as mentioned. But overall, that is pretty much the main differences. Oops, and I forgot the door sill plate. The Denali says Denali, and this one says GMT, of course. So that's another difference. Now let's go ahead and talk second and third row seating. Okay, second row seating, of course, same idea in the controls of the bench seat and all that, but main difference is no heated seats, all right? No heated seats on that second row seating, but you still get the inverters, the USB-C plugins, the pockets, and of course, I didn't show you guys this in the Denali, but the armrest with the cup holders, all right? Same exact LED lighting with your vents. Now you can control these seats, Let's go ahead and drop this forward and pick it up again. You go, this is where you have to automatically or manually, oh, let's go ahead and drop that and show you guys the third row seating. Third row seating, same exact idea, all right, in the back, USB-C plugins in the SLT, cup holders, lighting with your vents. Now, as promised, I'm going to be dropping that MSRP sticker. So here's the MSRP sticker to the Yukon Denali XL with the price tag so you guys get an idea of what exactly comes with it. And then here's the sticker to the SLT with its price tag. We appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Bills. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. We have more reviews and installations coming. Guys, God bless you.